5.5 number 45, we are going to integrate 1 plus x over 1 plus x squared. This is one of the first tricky questions that you are going to encounter with integral, but let me show you how to do it. Well, the thing right here is that if you just want to use a u substitution right here right away, then it's not going to work. If you let u is equal to 1 plus x squared, it's not going to work out nicely. If you let u is equal to x squared, or the whole thing, or whatever, it's, not just, it's just not going to work out nicely. The trick right here is, Notice that we have two things on the top, 1 plus x, and the denominator is 1 uh, plus x squared. Notice this part, 1 over 1 plus x squared. This right here by itself, we can integrate that. And then this right here by itself, we can also integrate that. So what we have to do is, we must break down this um, fraction into two separate fractions. The first one will be 1 over this denominator, 1 over 1 plus x squared plus the second fraction is x over 1 plus x squared, dx. Notice that if you have the integral of two fractions like this, we just inter integrate the first one and then add it with the integral of the second one. So let's do the first one right here, the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared, dx, right, the first one. And the way to do this is right here, uh, you have to ask yourself, the root of what function will be 1 over 1 plus x squared? And the answer for that is, the inverse tangent x will do the job. So this is just inverse tangent x. And we'll do the second one, the integral of x over 1 plus x squared, dx. And for this one, for this integral, we need to use the u substitution. And I can let u equals to the denominator, 1 plus x squared, so with that, you know, du will be uh, derivative 1 is 0, derivative of x squared is 2x, dx, and so for dx, I will get du over 2x. du over 2x, right here, this should be a 2x. And I'm going to take this integral into the u world, I will have the integral, the x is still on the top, over the denominator, which is, as what I said, it's u. And dx is du over 2x, du over 2x. And now, as you can see, the x and x cancel each other out. And now, this integral will become, I see that we have the du over 2. Let me write the 1 half first in the front of the integral. 1 half integral of 1 over u, du. And the integral of 1 over u is going to be ln of u. So we have 1 over 1 over 2 ln, absolute value of u, all right? Whenever you do this um, from the integral 1 over u to uh, the antiderivative, you have to put the absolute value with the ln. And this is going to be, I have to change the u back to x. So this is 1 half ln, absolute value, u is 1 plus x squared. So let me write this down, like this. And notice that, 1 is a positive number, plus x squared, and this is never uh, negative. So 1 plus x squared, this is always going to be positive. So you can actually drop off the absolute value. You can write this as just a regular 1 half ln with a parenthesis, 1 plus x squared. But then on the test, if you write down with the absolute value, or we'll use a parenthesis in this case, it doesn't matter. And you can never go wrong with the absolute value. So you might well just keep writing the absolute value. That would be fine, all right? Anyways, so the conclusion is this part, the integral right here, the first part, we get tangent, uh, the inverse tangent x. So I'm going to write this down, the inverse tangent x. And the second part, we get this. So we have plus 1 half ln of 1 plus x squared, right? Once again, I don't need to use the absolute value technically because the inside node is going to be positive for sure. And don't forget the plus c at the end. I still have enough space. And then that will be the answer. And that's exactly the answer in the back of the book. That's it.